Is a brand new gaming chair on your shopping list for the holiday season? Until December 4th, you can enter to win a Verona Pro V2 Carbon Black Gaming Chair, courtesy of Arosi. Check out the link in the description box below for more details. the go button right when they need it, right when Atlanta range is just a bit overextended. There's just so much of a focus on Aria, they didn't really have anything else for the rest of the team. Exactly. Lost them dearly. Have ultimates coming online now. Dogman again going to be starting off with the coalescence. And Ursa goes in with a massive seismic slam. We'll just take down two, then he gets the uppercut on Aria. That will be the cleanup here. Absolutely massive combo there from the Atlanta rain. Still looking to get the flip on the point, but it's just a matter of time. Baby Bay buys a little bit more. It's an overtime, but Rain do get the flip, and they still have ultimates to hold this. Big old sound barrier. Got to be looking at the TP into the back. Christian going to be called scored there by Rhea. That Blossom is out, not able to find anything so far. Gushua is going to be taken down by Striker. Finds that opening kill with Bazzi, comes up clutch. Manages to find two. Now a third on the back end of that Meteor Strike. And that is just going to be the San Francisco shock. Getting tucked in for bed. And Gladiators. Trying to push this fight into their favor. Hydration doing what he can. And maybe with Gushui out of position here, he's in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> nice connection with IDK. Hydration just finds him. And Vikus's uh, sound barrier giving them so much durability to flip this one. And I can't believe it. The Spark are going to hand the point over again. Maybe that Gushui down is not looking good. The tanks are out. And they flip it. Arguably. Oh. Come in through this archway, perhaps even predicting that Guangzhou might be trying to run their own May, because a May will counter a May with the wall. It'll buy you the space you need. Fitz can go as aggressive as he wants because he's got the escape. There's the escape. Right on through, right on the top. Hot, but splattered flat. Now Eileen's gone as well. Rio's not going to be rushed along either. Fitz on a murderous tear, wiping him out. So the pendulum has swung absolutely in Spark's favor here. Several ultimates ready to go for both sides. That's going to be the Gravitic Flux tossed in. Looking for a pick, but not going to be able to find it. Great sound barrier there from Moth, as per usual. Gushway going to be taken down. The show Yeoman uses his ultimate. The Death Blossom in, and Sinatra manages to find the triple kill with the Meteor Strike. And that is going to be the flip coming through back in favor of the Shock, not even allowing the Spark to take a lead. IDK didn't use his sound barrier early in the fight because he wanted to wait for Joyovin's Gravitic Flux here. When the Flux goes off, the barrier is used, but there's just not enough to stop the follow-up Meteor Strike kind of here, so it, it makes sense, but things are looking like they may go from bad to worse here for the Titans if this push doesn't find something. Huxel, one of the players who could set up that opening pick, for the punch, we'll get moved back. Meteor Strike's ready to go, and everyone's just kind of bottled up on the stairwell. Drops down, and Fitz finds a triple kill! Oh boy, knocks them out of the park! Shadow, Simon, Tizzy, all oh, gonna be gone. The perfect setup was there. They capitalized. Dynasty, go again. It's all the, you know, the new members of Soul Dynasty who are really shining here. You know, Fitz, Marvel, and Michelle, you know, look at the Lunatic High players. It's a bit harder. Remember when you lose your Moira first, you're out a lot of healing in NY Excelsior. They did not punish that enough. I agree. I, I'm really surprised that they didn't take that opportunity to go for the big 6v5 push, but played it safe and a little bit too safe, maybe. Here we go, another Coalescence coming in from Jonak now, trying to get a lot of damage through the shields onto the back lines. That all does pierce that, so it does help a little bit with that. And now the engage. Here comes the Doofus Hawks all going in, just placing members of the New York Excelsior leading it. Hawks three so. Meteor Strike. Massacre indeed. Vancouver Titans. Get in there. You have an opportunity. Go for the throw. It's still buzzy the position now. Now you got to back in the corner. Oh, perfect. Chara nowhere to hide. He gets picked. And there's the Soul Dynasty. They smash him. Charge that packing at the Soul Dynasty. They get the job done. Yeah, and guess where the charge are going to spawn? Miles it's, away. it's barely on the same map. Uh, it's on the two packs. It's, I mean, it is pink. Some around. of them are going to spawn. Actually, they're getting decent spawns. All right, this is not as terrible as it could have been. Yeah, I mean, keep in mind, there is that mechanic in Overwatch where it really takes a long time for the payload to start moving, so it gives the defensive team a chance. Kill. That's all the Shock need to take this first map. Already, a lot of damage here onto the Shock as they try to exit, and Violet going to be taken down. Very nice punch there from Bazzi. and Sinatra going to be forced to use the Meteor Strike. Can they find anything? The hold is huge! Sinatra gets a triple kill! They might just turn this one around right now, and they have! Sinatra!
Electra, absolutely massive. The play set up by Smart. They're right back over onto the point. The Spark can only get 11% away. Now Shock back in control. They turn it around completely on its head. Yeah. Get rid of Sinatra to start the fight. And there it is from Haxal. A freebie in the air as he goes for the melee. Vancouver looked much sharper in the early damage trade, Matt. He waves a by the violet. He flies off the side as that'll be the Titans taking that first point. You can see the effect of Doomfist and whichever one of these players gets the best you know, of the opposing team today could be you know, the, the one matchup that decides this as Haxall's able to get in, connect with oh! three players, get a little cheeky with the waves there, gets hit with a rock by Jayovin. Blackley was able to still get out with rising up a cup, but here come the dueling coalescences. Jayovin's off in the corner, he's a little bit low, he's gonna force the meteor strike from Haxall. Oh! What? Incredible! Haxal lays waste to the shock. It's all by his own hand. And that's the Berserker at work. Yeah, and you can see this from Haxal's POV. So, goes in with the punch. They know they have to operate through this small choke. And look at that halt there from Tizzy. Oh, oh, oh man. What a meteor strike. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this countdown. Let us know what your favorite play was in the comments below and which character you want to see highlighted next. As always, make sure you like and subscribe and tune into Action Esports for more Overwatch content.